So what we're working here is a 2019, almost 20, Ford F-150 with a 5-liter Coyote engine. And this customer is saying that every few days when I check my oil, I've noticed that it's getting low, and then i got to fill it back up. It's getting low, i got to fill it back up. Well, there's actually a TSB out that talks about during downshifting events when it starts shutting off fuel and bringing fuel back on to conserve fuel in this truck, basically part of the program that's built in, this truck will actually pull vacuum I don't know if it's when it's not supposed to be, I don't quite understand it correctly, but it's something to do with it pulling an excessive amount of vacuum and it pulls oil into the intake manifold and then into the engine. So basically what they do is they have you take, change the filter, put 8 quarts or 7.7 .7 or 8 quarts of 5W20 in here, they, they have you put a new dipstick in it, and then they have you reprogram the computer so it can control some of that downshifting event. So there's no uh, loss of oil during downshifting while it's shutting off injectors and pulling injectors back online. So we're going to do that right now. So basically, pull the dipstick, driver's side of the vehicle. I'm going to take the new one and I'm going to lay it up here on the cowl until I'm done with the oil change. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop the oil and filter and then replace exactly what I pull out, you know, and then match it up to what spec is. But I'll get an idea on what comes out. I'll show you what the color of it is and how much comes out and tell you what I think about the amount without having to measure it exactly. This dipstick will go back in the bag so I can send it to Ford for their audit. So if we take the new, this one's the new one right here. You can see how clean the, the old ring is and how dirty that one is. And if we put them right next to each other, pretty much exactly right next to each other, you can see the length of this one is a little bit longer and if you were to line the holes up the top hole right there you can see how they move the lower level from where it is there down a little bit so now your low level for your oil is much lower than what it was before maybe by a quart and a lot of guys are still doing these oil changes and they're putting them at eight quarts when they do the oil change but this according to ford is 8.75 including the filter so 5w20 engine fill including oil filter 8.75 quarts so one of the things that i really don't like that they kept or they did with this engine is plastic pan i hate the plastic pans and these quick connect drains yeah it's good for the user to have a quick connect drain but they leak there's all i mean they they're just simple o-rings around them and sometimes they're put in front of these coolers right here and they get oil all over the coolers the sway bar link i mean the sway bar end and you got to make sure you time everything right get your hand out of there okay so we'll finish draining the oil there and then the filter up here and then we'll pull it down and program the computer. Okay, so we have uh, IDS pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and communicate with the vehicle. And I'm going to start the programming procedure. So it's up and going now. It's connected to the vehicle. I'm going to click on the little toolbox. And I'm going to go to module programming. Select the check mark. Module reprogramming. PCM. Check mark. So it shows me that there is a later calibration update for the PCM because it wants to do that reprogram for... Could be multiple things, but one of the provisions of this program is the fact that it reprograms the injectors from uh, pulling themselves out of the equation to constantly staying active while it's during a downshift event so it doesn't come online and go offline come online go offline and create ex excessive amount of vacuum via the engine re-engaging over and over and over again acting like a vacuum pump so let's reprogram saying it's going to automatically pull it because it doesn't see it on the computer yes i want it to automatically pull it and now it will go through the procedure of doing that now we're currently downloading the pcm file
going to erase the old data and put in the new data. Okay, everything's been loaded and checked. Now we acknowledge it, acknowledge that there's a new programming sequence in. Let me go back to our toolbox, self-test, check all the codes, and then clear everything out. So as you can see here, there's going to be a ton of communication codes just for the simple fact that you reprogrammed a module and you basically shook everything up, all these U codes and stuff, clear them all out. There's nothing wrong with the vehicle. It just needs to be cleared out. Once you clear them out and everything's successful, you're clear to go ahead and uh, disconnect from the computer. And once you disconnect from the computer, you can pull, the pull everything off the vehicle and continue. Okay, there it is. No lights on, no nothing. Good oil pressure. Monitor and see what happens with the new program. 21,978 miles.